Hi, it's Tara coming back with a video regarding what I am f obsessed with right now and things that I want to buy. So it's like a wish list. Number one on my wish list is this beautiful thing. Uh, this is from MZ Wallace, which is a, a nice purse um, manufacturer from New York City. And I saw this. Let's see. Let me make sure. Make this bigger. Okay, so this is what it looks like. This is like a super pretty color, um, kind of like slightly darker than mustard. And um, yeah, so I really like it because it has a back pocket right here and that doesn't zip and also a front pocket that does. Look at this. This is so pretty. And it also has a super comfortable um, webbed, like sort of a wide adjustable um, strap. So you can make it into um, a shoulder bag, crossbody, and you know, hand carry probably and it also is really nice because they have these really cool hand finished um like they're they don't leave it raw they like kind of glaze it and it's really beautiful the zip pulls are really nice and it's also a really good size um i liked going see here it is i like going to spain so much that this year i'm also going back to spain and we're going to be going to Paris as well. And I will be needing a light uh, crossbody. And this, I think, might be the one. Look at it. Uh, I think it's just the perfect size um, and perfect color. It's not too bright uh, and it's not too green. It's not too yellow. It's just perfect. It's just slightly greener than uh, mustard. So mustard is a little yellow. This is just a little bit like olive, sort of like a really yellow olive green, uh, kind of greenish mustard color. And I'm really loving it because um, the color also makes all these little poofy quilts like look so good. Um, this is not leather. So this is actually, um, this is actually some sort of really lightweight nylon and that would also make it perfect for, you know, traveling because it's light. Um, so yeah, this would be perfect. Uh, that's number one. Another thing that I've been wanting really, really bad are these, let's see, this. I've been wanting this, um, garden collection LV um, gorgeous it is so pretty let's, let's go like that I know it's not to everybody's taste and I normally despise like floral patterns um, that you know because it reminds me of those like 1980s faux Victorian kind of like um, couch patterns or something like that you know those old style like um, canvas things with the big flower things on it that's kind of like faux country, faux, Vic, faux Victorian, but this is something else entirely. I think it's because um, they have it out on the shiny metallic um, background, and then they also have the LV symbols, like, you know, in these multicolors, floral patterns and stuff. I think this is just dynamic enough uh, to avoid being like cookie cutter and static, like the flowers, the way they have arranged it. It's not just like a, a round pattern or diamond pattern. It, you know, the way things stick out, there's a good uh, mixture of foliage that sticks out like that, that makes it like more dynamic. And also uh, they kind of tone down the background with the silver, but it's still like kind of glowy. That kind of really, um, elevates this and makes it a lot more artistic and appealing to me. Unfortunately, I really don't like this 
the um, Neverfull that's not because the bottom is like just too wide and the straps are kind of like narrow and they're kind of round they're not flat and they're you know so it, it they're heavy too so that's the deal about this is that I really really love the pattern um, if they had like a smaller like maybe shoulder bag or something like that um, that has this pattern and then I would go for it for sure um, I really love this pouch I wouldn't mind buying the pouch but I have a feeling that the pouch doesn't have the flowers um, that's why they're not showing it it's just like this so I wouldn't want that just because it's not giving me the whole picture so that's the thing about that another another thing that I want um, you know for Christmas or whenever but yeah are these really beautiful um, red gala velvet slippers um, I just love the neat look of them um, because they're not like they're they look comfortable and they have a slight heel so I think they look much dressier and just like neater and cleaner than the fluffy like um, hairy kind of was <laughs> Birkenstock really wide slippers that people uh, that you know are really popular during like Christmas and the holidays and fall when it gets cold I think this is nice and dressy and it even looks like a pair of like shoes and the bow is very feminine and nice I think this shape is very flattering to your feet and uh, they make your feet look narrower and then because they have the slight heel there's a little bit of height so when you're walking you're not just like shuffling along and making that ch -ch -ch sound you know what I mean it's more like a real shoe like like a backless shoe or something like that like a backless sandal kind of mule so I really want this this is really pretty and to me this is like kind of like a luxury I know a lot of people mostly just focus on bags and high-end stuff but these little things um, are really good for making you having the whole package you know what I mean it's not just focusing on one thing or, or the other it's having an all-around like feeling of well-being and these are won't break the break the bank I mean they're much more expensive than you know the 40 or 50 dollars like pair of slippers that people buy but I have a feeling that these might last a little bit longer because um, they look like they're really well made and um, yeah I think this would be really good to have you know for Christmas or those times when maybe you have guests coming over but you don't you feel comfortable to be lounging in your comfy clothes but you don't want to look like a total absolute slob that this one might be really nice and yeah really dressy as well <clears throat> so that's that Another thing that I want to get, um, and this I'll probably get when I go try to, I'll try to get this when I go to Paris because I'll be going at the end of the year. And um, yeah, so Paris has the, um, has the main store for Guerlain <clears throat> and I might be able to buy a bottle of this filter de parfum because it looks, it's looking like really desirable. Some other items that I want to um, collect, if I possibly can, is this beautiful Heron uh, Black Dynasty, um, Chinese-inspired, like, I think it's a candy dish or something with two little kids on the side. Oh no, two men on the side. This guy has a mustache, so he's not a kid. And with these beautiful cutouts, and it's in this gorgeous rose pattern with black. Um, I think this is really stunning, and if anybody knows um, porcelain this heron company h-e-r-e-n d <clears throat> is from hungary and it's really uh they have the really stunning delicate stuff uh this is unfortunately pretty expensive but it's just you know something that's on my wish list i probably won't be able to get it but just it doesn't hurt to have a wish list though does it Another exquisite thing item from Heron is this, and this is um, a gorgeous Japanese inspired um, fruit plate, uh, fruit bowl, and it is quite ex 
Oops, it is quite expensive, six thousand. Um, so yeah, it's just like a, a dream for the moment. So it's exquisitely done in the uh, inspired by Japanese style called imari, and there's it's inlaid with all this gold and beautiful dark navy and a red orange detail and it's also decorated on the sides too so this is like handmade in hungary so basically even if you wanted it it would take four to six weeks to ship because they're making it just for you <laughs> in the factory and these are these are not things that you can just go into like a department store and pick out um unless it's like super exclusive department store these are things that you would probably have to uh, pre-order you know what I mean and this is really gorgeous it has like um, a picture of a little animal in the middle and these stylized flowers that's just super stunning and this is a beautiful fruit bowl so um, you can have it as your centerpiece for a stunning table or just collect it um, in a in one of these uh, cabinets armoires or something I forget what they call those cabinets that show the dishes they're not armoires but they're kind of like armoires for dishes so anyways this is like like just beyond stunning um, and this is what is on my other wish list that's not like perfume and handbag related Here is another one, a little bit more within the budget um, and super cute. So this is a heron poisson, which is fish, triple shell centerpiece. So this centerpiece is, um, you know, these shells are supposed to hold like various snacks and this is like, um, like a goldfish or something like that that's inspired by chinoiserie, but they're interpreted by heron and so Heron does these uh, patterns like that on the shells and stuff like that as scales. I mean, on the back of the um, fish as scales, but that's also them. So it's like a beautiful blending of European and Asian inspired uh, artwork. Uh, this is also exclusive to this place called Scully and Scully's. And I, this is where I got all of the the pictures from for the hair and special orders. They also have other like companies like Limoges and other stuff, but and some of those are super, super high end, like we're talking about in the five to six figures. But these are the ones that I currently have my eye on just because they are so cute and they're not gonna break my bank um, if I save up for it diligently. And I really love this. Um, so, you know, the great thing about porcelain is that you know, you don't, when you're sitting at your table and you look at this, it's like artwork that's practical and useful. It's kind of like um, handbags. I mean, handbags are not art, but yet they kind of are in craftsmanship. And so this is like the handbag of the t for the for your table, you know what I mean? So I feel like, you know, if you have this on your table and you're serving snacks of it, out of it and people are also you know, using it, your guest or your family, they will also appreciate it too. So it's like bringing a little bit of beauty and uh, craftsmanship into your everyday life. I mean, if I was to serve snacks out of this, I would, you know, it would enhance my life. <laughs> it would enhance my life greatly. Um, I love things like that. And um, lastly, so if you have an abundance of money and you or you have one of these people that is like really rich and they have everything you might want to consider giving this as a gift um i took this picture because i really love the the craftsmanship so this is actually oops this is actually a sterling silver enameled lobster spiny lobster and look at the stunning like it's a statue so basically it just stands like this i believe and um it's made by hand and hand painted by an artisan and it probably takes like a long time to hand paint each of these little like um spots on the body it's just like 
outstanding, outstanding workmanship. And these are pretty big too. So it's like a figurine. So if you have everything, they have everything, you can get them something more unique like this. Uh, or you can just get them a car. <laughs> and if they don't like lobsters, there's other stuff. There's also a beautiful parrotfish. Um, and they're all varying different amounts. So the parrotfish is a little bit cheaper. It's 11000 This uh, Gallinella fish which is stunning, it's 20,000, and this giant scorpion fish is even more than the lobster, it's $27,000. But it's just, again, out, totally outstanding. And this is uh, from a website called scullyandscully.com, so I think they're purveyors of like, um, objet, you know, for your house and stuff like that for, for rich people. So if you have some chunk of change, or you want to award someone, you might consider these. These are kind of cool, like um, art stuff to have. Heck, and heck, if we're going to go all out and go crazy with the luxury, how about this? This is um, a giant tube. I mean, it's not giant. I blew it up till it's giant so you can appreciate the, the glorious iciness of it. And um, also so you can see the giant like um, price tag. So this is a 2.35 carat green VS2 cushion diamond. And I forget where I took this from. Um, but anyways, it's $337,730. Okay, so the reason why I really like this is because it looks like an ice cube and it's not colorless, it is green. So I think green is a very um, hard to find shade of diamond or maybe it's hard to find in this delicate, like kind of pastel -y green cut. And it's also fairly good size, so 2.35 carat carrots is pretty big for this type of colored diamond and I think it's pretty rare so go big you know if you're one I really wanted to go with it I know it's not a match for those pink diamonds that are like two million dollars twenty million dollars or something but this is just so pretty I just wanted to show it to you guys so we can both appreciate it here's the same chunk of diamond um um, on its side. So this is actually, yeah, this comes from James Allen. Uh, so this is James Allen, which is like a, a large commercial um, diamond jewelry purveyor. So this is what it looks like on the side. Isn't it gorgeous? Yeah, it looks even better from the side. It looks, it looks even more like an ice cube. Look, you can also get a free ring with the purchase of this diamond. See, when you're ready to spell, to splash out this much money, you, you get all sorts of freebies. Or, so it's $337,000 and $730. It's also, or six installments of $56,000. So interest-free payments, interesting don't get too tempted i mean this is much like a lot of people's like salary for the year so it's it's interesting i can just appreciate this from pictures unless i won the lottery